everyone I am back um, I, I wanted to show you um, what I had been working on just playing around um, the last um, week or so and over at Sophie's notes I actually I, I was trying to do a project once a month back in the spring and then we got into uh, summer out of the Somerset magazines I was trying to do a project and then we got into summer, and there was just so much going on that um, I put it off. And anyway, so last month I have started back doing the Facebook Live project. I'm uh, going to try to do it once a month um, out of the uh, Somerset Studios or the Somerset Live or uh, something out of the, um, I like the Green Crafts, just something out of the magazines that we all love so much. Um, I, for so long, bought those magazines and always told myself I was going to do at least one project out of them to justify the, the purchase, you know, the price that you pay for it. And I just, um, never did do it. So, anyway, I'm back to trying to get that project, at least one project, um, um, a month. I'll probably do it, uh, probably do it, uh, this month in October, um, I know that December I won't because it's a busy, busy, uh, month, but, but anyway, I'm going to try to get back into doing that. That was so much fun, and, uh, I always enjoy the ladies' um, feedback, uh, as we're doing the project live, so, uh, anyway, enough, enough chit-chat there, but, uh, these, uh, two here were, uh, the bags, and I had made just some little plain quick journals just for, um, uh, you know, easy gifts, but I actually uh, put something different in it than what I had in the live. Uh, one of the ladies over at Sophie's Notes had done an altered, um, one of these CD covers here, and so I knew that I wanted to play with those after I seen her project. Um, ladies, I'm telling you, there is so much talent over in that group. It just, it's wonderful. Um, it's wonderful to have ladies that are so willing to share their creativity with everybody. Um, it is just awesome. So, um, also a quick mention, if you have tried to join the craft closet, I, it was Sophie's craft closet and I changed, I took the Sophie's off because I feel like it was getting, um, too confused with Sophie's notes, but you have to be a member of Sophie's notes to enjoy the craft closet. At the craft closet, um, we are just a group that like to give stuff away. If if it's something you're going to throw away or you just have too much of that you'll never use, um, I I uh, I I be, uh, got this group going just for that reason that you could give your stuff away. And I know there's a lot of people that's more than happy to have something that that you have too much of or that you don't need anymore. So that was the whole purpose. There is no selling on either site, um, Sophie's Notes or the Craft Closet. Uh, they are no sell sites. So there's no selling going on, no promoting shops, no, uh, you know, there's just none of that. It's just simply sharing your creativity, you know, sharing your videos. And if your videos have your shop in the description box or or like I'm making the video now and I was to post it and I'm showing you what I'm putting in the shop. You know, that is fine. But but when you post over there, it is a sell-free site. There's just no selling going on. So uh, the craft closet is simply giveaway. You you don't purchase anything. You know, you don't. It's just giveaway. So uh, And so we have people who give and we have people who want to receive it. So anyway, it's just a fun, fun thing. But please do... Uh, you know, if you are trying to get into the craft closet, you must go join Sophie's Notes first. It is for, for Sophie's Notes members only. So, I uh, just kind of want to get that out of there. I always have a lot of people who join, try to join the craft closet. Uh, even though I have it in the question part, um, they just seem to go there first. So, that's just something I want to get out there. You must be a member of Sophie's Notes to be in the craft closet. So... Uh, anyway, I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you that uh, I do have some more spider webs in the, 
in the Etsy shop. I have the small and the large. They come in a pack of two. I think I only have a couple left, ladies. So uh, if that's something you're interested in for Halloween, um, there are two left. I believe two packages left. And they come in the set of two, the small and the large. Uh, but this here is what I wanted to show you. I, ha I purchased these. They are little tags, snow pinions. Uh, a collection of baby's first ornaments. But anyway, they were just um, the tags. And they have a little hole in them already where you can put something through to put your tag. But what I did was I purchased some of these. They were just blank tags. Um, uh, they have a warehouse uh, or tent sale every year uh, at a uh, business here in town where I live. And so I purchased these. They were just in a big stack. <clears throat> and I purchased those because for the purpose of altering, altering, especially for Christmas. So here is my altar tag. I had so much fun. Um, what I did was I simply used some vintage crocheted lace. This was actually a doily, I believe, in the fillet stitch. And I just did some layering. I used the Tim Holtz Christmas paper dolls. And this is his little, um, I believe it's Noel, is that what it is, pack, ephemera pack. And then this here is out of that same pack. And I just altered it. It was so cute, but you could do anything. I mean, you could make that a pocket, uh, hang it on the tree, maybe have a little money in it for somebody, you know, just hang it on the tree as a gift, uh, uh, gift card. But anyway, guys, this was so much fun. The possibilities are just so, so fun. They're pre-cut oval and just super fun. So anyway, that, that's something I wanted to share. And then here is the altered CD. Uh, the altered CD sleeve or cover, what do you even call it? It's just paper. I did coffee stain these um, that I used. And I reinforced the little tab in the back with a little paper so that it wouldn't rip and here I've used the same thing I've used the Tim Holtz uh, paper dolls the ones he has out for Christmas a little vintage lace there I used one of his little charms these are his Christmas charms and uh, anyway just did some layering with some laces and cheesecloth so fun here and then what I did was I slipped in this is the back actually that is some more Tim Holtz um, that Christmas Noel ephemera but what I did was I just made a little pad maybe a little Christmas pad uh, to write on things that you need for Christmas uh, just with some of his card stock so but anyway that was so cute that's a great gift idea too guys I just think that's really fun. And you can get those coffee sleeves at uh, the, uh, uh, you know, Office Depot, Staples. Uh, you know, you can order them online. They're not very expensive. I think uh, I gave, oh, I don't remember, $5 for a box of 50 or something. I don't know. But I bought mine at the uh, Office Depot. So, uh, anyway, that is super fun. And then I made, um, I got one here, but I don't have anything in it yet. But I used the Tim Holtz paper doll. I used some, uh, some just vintage lace here. And this was some lace gifted to me, the crocheted lace. And then here's kind of what I've done. I've just coffee stained them. This one here got a little overly coffee stained, which is okay. And then here's one a little lighter. But anyway, I'm going to fill them up. I still have to work on those, but what a fun idea. But anyway, that's kind of what it, what it looks like. I did some ruffling on some um, coffee stained linen there, and anyway, just fun. Do a little stitching there on the sleeve. Then, um, these here were the project that I had done the bag for on my live uh project over at Sophie's Notes and it just has layering you can kind of see the layering this is an old vintage photo uh, that I purchased at the antique store and of course the back is just just plain this is a Hobby Lobby envelope here or envelope um, bag the glassine bag from uh, 
Hobby Lobby and I have used oh I don't remember the name of this paper line it's Prima and it says let's wander together and it is just a blank journal um, here is a little pocket that you can slip something in and I did a little stamping but uh, it is just a plain plain uh, little journal here to journal in I didn't add any embellishments or anything I just did a little stamping on the and then here's another little place to put something in another little pocket super fun and I added some washi here it is stitched I did stitch this added a little washi just for some extra strength there but uh, anyway there's that now I am going to put these up for sale over uh, on creative cafe B Facebook business page um, these will not go into the Etsy shop here these are going into the uh, on the Facebook Creative Cafe Facebook business page so I will have all that linked in the uh, description box and then here is another here's the poppy I uh, this is that collection that I purchased that I actually wanted to put in my vintage book but it just they just did not match so I, I uh, just uh, scratched that idea and I, I actually uh, copied that on uh, uh, tracing paper so it's very very thin but it looks really cute I really like that and then I added some lace this is just some sorry silk here and that's what it was on the other one too is just some sorry silk here is another little poppy image now I have copied that onto um, photo photo paper there so it's kind of glossy and then I've just added some little rosettes I believe those are from Hobby Lobby and this is one of those um, file folders that have the lines on them that you can get at Walmart and what I did is I just made another little another little list pad and of course you have the lines over here that you could write anything you wanted on did a little decorative stitching there I've got it reinforced with a little bit of um, sorry silk there so that it would stay nice and together and uh, anyway so that's that's these were just little gift ideas that I thought were fun uh, anyway there's that and then I was playing around with the image transfer oh, where you do the cardstock the plastic wrap and then your um, napkin and then parchment paper so that um, you know the iron is supposed to melt the plastic and and that but my plastic did not work so I actually ended up part of it is stuck I got part of it to stick on the plastic and then the rest of it is just mosh poshed so uh, I bought a different plastic wrap one of the ladies at Sophie's notes had suggested what she uses that does work and so I'm gonna try this again I purchased these napkins here in a little place uh, in Joplin actually a little uh, a little shop in uh, Joplin when we were out antiquing after we had gotten back from the junk ranch we stopped into Joplin Missouri and and I bought these at a little shop uh, this is actually what comes off the napkin the very front fold has market fresh on it that I thought was really cute so after I had played with the napkins trying to get them transferred I had several napkins to have to play with so what I did was just decided to make a little this is very small it's not large at all I used some sorry silk and I stitched uh, my little pieces in it so it made just a little a little journal is what I did um, not a whole lot of pages in it just just looks like that on the inside but it would be fun for notes or grocery shopping or just something like that just a fun little little journal and there's the back I didn't put anything it's not embellished in any way shape or form but anyway there is that and then playing with the coffee sleeve I knew I wanted to try to do this image on 
uh, make a tag out of and so I have cut out the market fresh and uh, let's see this one opens from the side I did some collaging added some little vintage buttons and then all this is is a little tag so I lined it with some coffee stained paper and um, there it is so so uh, anyway guys these are just some little fun things I've been working on and like I said these are going to be go over for sale in the, on the Facebook Creative Cafe Facebook business page that's where they're gonna go um, anyway I just I've had so much fun playing um, <laughs> I haven't really accomplished much because I have just been playing uh, doing odd things, odds and end things. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, watching, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll catch you in the next video.